tallest animal on the planet. We've just spotted two rhinos walking alongside a matriarchal herd. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go! Ah, here we go. Elephant dung. Come on, have a look at this. Woo! You see it's dried up here, but it's a little bit moist there. At so this point, I reckon there may be another 40 kilometers down river. These riverbeds are dry for the majority of the year. Only for a week do they flow, but this is enough to support the trees and shrubs around here, providing enough food and water for our target desert giants. Wow, look at that. It is quite magnificent when you see them out in the wild. There's just such a diversity of mammals here in Southern Africa. And it's the giraffe that is the tallest animal on the planet. Woo! Another giant is the ostrich. We've just spotted two rhinos really far off in the distance. This is just amazing. Black rhinos, they're so endangered. They're so incredibly endangered. It's a desert giant. Wow, here we go. Yes, you can see how just unbelievably gentle they are. They definitely can sense our presence right now. Just going about their own business. And that presence of a rhino is nothing I can really quite explain. Only 30 meters away from two black rhinos. This is the spot where the elephants are migrating. So we're gonna keep going this way until we find them. The elephants are constantly migrating along the route of the riverbeds, going from one water source to the next. Once their tracks get fresher, we know we're getting close and it's only a matter of time. And of course, with all wildlife, a touch of luck comes in handy too. The drone has just picked up a desert elephant. Yes, we're onto them. This is just cool. I'll tell you what, this is really tough terrain. But thankfully, Oh, this truck is built for this. I mean, this couldn't get more wild than this. Woo! Okay, we have found the desert elephants in the most incredible way. Woo! You can see there's five in that herd. The mother, she's in charge of guiding them all along this dry riverbed. Out here in this Namib desert, we've got the largest terrestrial animal on the planet. This is just once in a lifetime experience. Let's enjoy it. What's amazing about this elephant is the fact that these are the same species as the one that you find in the bush, but these ones have learned and adapted their behavior in order to survive out here. This is amazing. You can see the way they're following in single file and they're heading towards the coast. And these are the last elephants of their kind. There's only 150 desert elephants in the entire world. There's five of them right here. They truly are absolute giants. Nothing quite makes you feel as small in comparison to any other animal than the elephant. We've got this kind of barren landscape and then we've got these giants roaming the earth. They are not distinctly a different species to the African bush elephant. If you dropped a bush elephant out of here, wouldn't be able to survive. These elephants know exactly where all the best water resources are. They understand when, when it's raining and where to go. They understand every single corner of this riverbed. And it's a matriarch. A matriarch could be 70 years old, who's learned to over decades this landscape. Without that female in charge, the herd would be lost. 
It's knowledge that's been learned over 70 years and that's been passed down through the generations from one matriarch to another matriarch. So what we're looking at now is behaviour of the elephant that's learned to live in this desert environment. It's been learned over hundreds of years. Walking with giants, nothing can beat this ever, ever. Yes, desert elephants. How would you like to join us on a safari? The Desert Giants Expedition is one of a few itineraries we have available in Africa and across the world. Our mission is to give you the most authentic wildlife experiences, targeting iconic species in their natural habitats. If you are interested, click here and we will be in touch.